Hey there, Dalton and Cloud. So today we're going over another new exam. This time we're going over the Microsoft certification route. I believe the next exam we may be covering is going to be Cisco related. So please be sure to tune in for that. Uh, and if you do want to see that video coming up, uh, you will be able to click over here um, and hit the subscribe button and then click the notification bell to be sure to continue to get new updates on new videos coming out. Without further ado, let's look at this Microsoft certification. Another exciting thing I want to just add in here before we dive into this exam is going to be, and it's uh, resource material, it's going to be that we now have uh, Dalton in cloud Dot com. The website's up and running. The website link will be in the description. Uh, for most uh, most up to date information, I still recommend going to the signing up for the Discord. Um, but we will start to get more and more resource material. You could easily click uh, and get links to uh, on the uh, website as we get articles uploaded on there. Uh, without further ado, so this particular exam, this is going to be a Microsoft uh, uh, entry-level exam. This is going to be their uh, fundamental uh, equivalent. So uh, MTA is the certification type. It's uh, MTA. Uh, this particular exam is 98TAC349 for Windows Operating System Fundamentals. This exam is going to be more entry-level uh, and fundamental uh, priced at uh, 127 that's on their cheaper end. Uh, I know if you're coming over from Amazon, you may think, well, it's not as cheap as, for example, uh, the uh, CP uh, Cloud Practitioner, but this is as cheap as Microsoft goes. Uh, so this is kind of the outline of what is going to go into the exam as far as the topics. Uh, it's fundamental, so it's going to be really simple, like scratch the surface uh, kind of view. So control, configure control panel options, configure desktop settings, uh, configure native, native applications and tools, configure mobility settings, uh, configure user management tools. A lot of stuff that you would like need to do if you're going into a general IT job. Uh, identify Windows Operating System, uh, System Additions, Upgrade Paths, Installation Types, and it just goes on from there. And it kind of gives you a feel for what percent of the exam is covered under each of the six uh, domains. Um, next up, we're going to go into the resource material or the study material. So first one. Uh, we love them just because they cover a broad spectrum of different uh, certification paths. It's going to be IT Pro TV, uh, an ACI Learning Company. <laughs> um, they recently did that merger with ACI Learning. Uh, so, uh, MTA Windows Operating System Fundamentals. Uh, this was last updated by them in 2018, but uh, from what I've seen, the um, the domains really haven't changed that much. It's all roughly still the same thing. This is going to be an amazing resource. You could get a free preview and you could get a free trial from them. They're an amazing company. As far as pricing, uh, at least for personal use, you really can't beat their, their pricing. You get a certain amount of certifications for free uh, just by having an account. And then uh, there's also a standard library. It's $29 a month if you pay uh, monthly, or it's $300 a year if you pay annually. Um, it's, it's really hard to beat this them for pricing. They, they do an amazing job being as competitive as they can and giving such amazing content. So I highly suggest them, even if you start on the free plan, get uh, one or two free certifications, see how you like that, and go from there. Uh, next up, it's going to be uh, a Udemy, Udemy course. Uh, this is going to be by uh, Marius uh, Criada. Uh, this is 3.5 hours of content. As I said, it's fundamental, so this should be enough to cover. But um, and, and it has over 8,000 
ratings and 2,200 students. Um, from what I looked into already, it was uh, pretty in depth uh, for only three hours and three and a half hours of content. But um, this is a good certification as well, or uh, study study material you could utilize. Next up, uh, we just love supporting other content creators and uh, Master of IT, he does an amazing job with uh, all his CompTIA courses, uh, and he seemed to do a good job on this one when I was looking at it. Uh, so this is uh, the test prep by Master IT. Um, so he goes over all the all six domains as well. Uh, test prep, uh, and this is. Uh, how much hours? Only an hour and a half of content. But as I said, it's it's going to be really entry level, scratch the surface kind of thing. So you're not going to need much more than like three and a half hours or one and a half hours. It's just usually the reason why um, at IT Pro TV, why they have like 13 or 14 hours of content. They're really going to get you deep in the weeds and uh, help you really know what you're going to need to do for your your job and they don't just want to pass you for the exam they want to pass you for the exam and make sure you know the content like the back of your hand that that's generally why they go so in depth with their uh training and why their training is usually going to be a lot longer than any other training uh and next up it's going to be just be um book because as i always say uh if you study with more than one type of study resource material uh reading listening watching doing uh that's going to really enforce the learning process with you so there wasn't really a lot of aftermarket uh books that were created by actual professional authors that i was able to identify this is just a, the official academic uh course for microsoft um and uh it was i i don't actually recommend buying this it says to rent for 30 dollars buy it used for 50 or buy new for 100 i i would not uh, unless you would use this for uh other uses like giving it to someone else to utilize uh, after you're done with it i wouldn't recommend buying it new i would recommend either getting it used if you are going to buy it or get or just rent it um but this, this was really the only uh, content I found just because the MTA the exams, they don't generally have too much content that goes into them. So they're not going to have too many people trying to develop uh, resource material for them as far as that's concerned. But with that aside, uh, this particular MTA exam is one of the more widely recognized ones, along with the MTA securities and networking exams. Um, as far as laying the foundation for uh, your education. So I do suggest you look into this. Other than that, uh, as I said, you do want to tune in for the next video. It's going to be a Cisco related video. Um, without further ado, you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.